Tommy's honor basically educated me on the subject of golf. Great. Yeah. So me how too. was your knowledge going into this? Um, non-existent. Yeah, limited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <limited. laughs> no, I, d I, it w I mean, it was, watching it last night, it was interesting to what, you know, like the quiver, when you say a golf quiver, mm -hmm. I just thought, oh, that's how Yeah, I'm yeah, okay. I, I love that, just like, oh, like the little ridges put it on the, yeah. on the actual golf clubs. Yeah, like no, they had I, a lot of little inventions in there that they introduced. I guess because they were playing in such rough terrain, it kept, they, it, they, things were constantly evolving. Um, no, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. It educated me too. Yeah, no, I, 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 uh, I sort of half followed it a little bit. I'd never really played it, um, but yeah, no, I just, I, I did find, I find anything like that, anything, you know, anybody that's really enthusiastic about something, you know, I find it fascinating. So, what drew you to the film? Um, Meg and what drew me to that just um, her, her um, unusual kind of. Um, strident nature and their and their relationship just how it was so they were just kind of like magnets and didn't care how they were perceived or what or what the kind of norms were at the time and it's yeah it was quite, it was quite unusual to see a relationship like that depicted at that time what about you what drew you to the film uh I, just the story in general man I, th I found it such a beautiful story such a sad story you know a, a story that you know begins with such promise and just ends just horribly um <laughs> <laughs> but somehow quite noble, quite noble. The, I I love the idea that um, you know whether, whether no one will really know for sure, but when his when when his wife died, mm -hmm. that that he sort of perished in nine months later. And I I there's something about you know he didn't want to be there if she if she wasn't there. We'll never kind of, know. Kind of that tragic, beautiful love. Yeah, mm. it's, it's it's yeah, it's beautiful. So, obviously, Tommy is a well-known person in the golf world. So how easy was it to research versus someone like Meg, who I don't think there's too much written about? Mm. No, it was it, it was it was very easy to research for me. Um, you know, it's not it's it's not it, always when it's someone you know in the eighteen hundreds. It's quite hard to research them as a person, obviously. Mm. So a lot of that that's where you come in. That's where the actor comes in, mm. and you know, um, gets a little bit of freedom with it. But no, I, it was quite easy for me, and a little bit harder for. Yeah. There, are, there are a few kind of um, revealing nuggets though that kind of helped you from that you can infer quite a lot um, but you see there were, there were just a few, I've, yeah, I've the few kind of um, parish records about her the way, her character the fact that she was very outspoken she was very um, strong willed that, that was marked down in the kind of the local parish records that that that, that, that was worthy of writing down was kind of evidence the fact that it was unusual for a woman to be, um, you know, disobedient um, and insubordinate. <laughs> so the rest was just kind of you? Well, no, the there, were, there she was, you know, she was she was that little bit older for, at the time, which was very unusual to be unmarried. So that in itself, again, says something about her, that she wasn't married off at 18 and having babies everywhere. She was 28 and working independently, living alone, which very, very unusual. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a fact that then helped inform me about how to play her. And then, um, you know, the, obviously that she lost the baby, but she continued working. There, was, there were little nuggets that helped tell me what she was like. So how was it filming in Scotland? Great. I loved it so much. It, it does, it's, it's, yeah. It was, it, was in, it was in summer. The weather was insanely good. It was beautiful. Oh my God. And yeah, it was just great. And for me, because, you know, it's, it's where I'm from. It was, it, the, the film means a lot to me for those reasons. Th those are the reasons. Because, because, and it's just such a stunning country. There's so much you get for free. It's such a dramatic landscape as yeah. well. We're just we're sweeping this yeah, the sea, the sand. Yeah. Yeah. It does show it off. The film does show it off. So, what do you think the universal appeal is to the film? Because I found it completely charming, enchanting, just engrossing. Good. And I'm not, I wasn't even a golf fan, so I didn't know what to expect going into it. Well, that I, I mean. That's the thing about it, because obviously I think looking at it, you, if you have an interest in golf, then you're going to go and see it. But it actually, the, it is it's much more about his, about Tommy's relationship, his various relationship with all the different people in his life, his relationship to to where he was from and to who he wanted to be. And I, I would just encourage people to go. And it's to watch a, I don't know, a love story. It kind of sounds. Yeah, it's 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 a relationship. I think that's universal, and I think that people people will you know, sympathise with and love, I think, you know, and yes, it's about golf, but 
why, why, why doesn't golf deserve to have a film made about it? You know, I think also the, the, the strive to do something and to, yeah. to, to follow, to not just do what's expected, but to do what you want is actually, can be difficult if you have lots of naysayers. I think that's a universal appeal. So just kind of, I love the character of Tommy because he went against basically what was society had set, the limitations put down for him. Mm. That's what makes him such a relatable hero. Yeah. Do you, uh, did you guys feel the same way about Tommy? Yeah, definitely I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, you know, he, did, he didn't, he's a guy that didn't really take a lot lying down, you know, and I think Meg was exactly the same, which is why they sort of, you know, were pulled towards each other. Um, but, uh, no, it's very easy to, 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 to be on his side. Mm -hmm. Of course it is, you know, and... You yeah, know, you're rooting for him. Of course, definitely. yeah, of course, you know. And and again, you know, it was these guys worked 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 a the land there, you know, and they it was their game first. They would probably have said, and and I think that he makes that point, you know, and it's now this massive, you know, multi billion dollar industry, and it started on like these fields in Fife, and I just think, you know, it's a beautiful story. So how was it working with uh, Jason Connery? It's great. I mean, he's lovely. He's such a lovely man. He's, he's such <laughs> a lovely relaxed. man. So relaxed. Yeah. I think that's like the best environment to work in when somebody's cool. relaxed and lets you kind of do your own thing. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah and he was really flexible about stuff. If you yeah. wanted to shift a line or... He was, no, he was nothing was overcomplicated. Mm. It was, we just had, we all just had so much fun on this. It was just a great, it's, you know, <laughs> the summer of 2015 was always really fun, fondly. I would stop, yeah. Yeah, it was very much. Sounds like the beginning of a song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the summer of yeah. 2015. Yeah, it does. Back yeah. in my youth. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> It was, it was really, you know, everyone got on really well. And we were kind of, there's a big, big group of a lot of young people. So that, and that's sometimes you'll kind of will be the only younger person on, on a set and it will be a much smaller cast. But with this, there was so many, it was just, just, and you're all away from home, staying in the hotels and things. We're just all going for dinner together. It was, it was, yeah, really, really, he did. And Jason did help set that tone of kind of everyone getting on. And he said right on the first day, he, he, I remember in the church, she did the, gave kind of a speech welcoming everyone to the film and saying thank you for coming and if you know please I'm I'm following your lead on this. So he was very. Mm. Was, I had not done a, um, worked with the director that kind of welcomed people in that way before. Mm. Did Sean Connery come to the set at all? No. I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> no. No. He's like even miles away. He's in the Bahamas, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I know because I know there's a relationship kind of that. Uh, Jason has with golf and his father, kind of the same as the the film. I don't really know about any of that. That was uh, all... no. You probably best ask Jason that. But I, I think yeah. he, yeah, it, it's it's obviously something that's quite close to Jason's heart. But you know, it wasn't Jason's story. It was it was a lot of people's story, and you know, and and the the writers that adapted it from a book. You know, it's mm. it's it's just there was obviously an accessibility for Jason. It's stuff he recognizes. But yeah, no, you best ask him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in like five minutes now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm planning a trip to Scotland now. Good. What yeah. places do I need to go to? Fife. Fife? Yeah. You must go to Edinburgh. It's just so beautiful. The architecture there, it's I mean, you, you feel like you're walking around it, it, it on a set or something. So there's so much of it is intact. And they've cleaned a lot. What's that tower, the clock tower near the... Um, the, the station Princess Street is it like yeah that? the Balmoral that, Hotel no no the no clock. The, the clock they've cleaned that clock it was it was got really um, black from all of the pollution but they've mm. cleaned it um, Balmoral oh, I know I can't know. remember what, anyway um, Edinburgh, let's yeah. google this later yeah <laughs> go, go, go to the west coast of Scotland if you can it's silly good looking I would try to go to some of the the kind of the inner Hebrides as well it's kind of the Isle of Mull mm -hmm. or the Isle of Iona, the, the quality of light is, is, is really unique to those kind of really? spots. It's quite, it's very, the Isle of Mull, the Isle of Iona is just across from the Isle of Mull, but the quality of light there is, I, don't, I can't, it just has this ineffable quality that you can't describe. I'm jealous, when are you going? <laughs> ah, probably at the end of the year. Oh. I would, yeah, I would, I would try and see some of the different islands because it's just such, it, you feel like we're in Middle Earth, this kind of dramatic landscape. It's it, yeah. Glencoe. You should go Glen Cole? Okay. Yeah, like that's probably the most sort of dramatic part of Scotland. I, have, I want to go to the Isle of Skye. And Skye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the cool. There's so many isles. Yeah, and then, <laughs> there are. And then, and then I would also love to go to Shetland. I mean, that, that's yes. going to be a bit of a mission to get there, but just because the, it's just this strange little enclave oh. that's kind of, people sound half Scottish, half Norwegian, or is it that right? Yes. Yeah. And, go, and please go to the borders, that's where I'm from. 
the very oh. very south of Scotland there's another ball game altogether as well really yeah it's stunning it's very sort of rolling hills not not as many mountains in the, in the south but it's it's stunning alright perfect thank you so much thank you no